tell YouTube, this is Hen Basket, and welcome to System Test 42. As you can see here, I have my Simplex 4207 and my FCI FC 2224. These on the intro, they are wired together t for trouble. But also they are wired together for alarms. So as you can see here, this is the this is the main power fuse, and this is the smoke detector power fuse. So if I remove this, you can see zone one on the 2224 goes into trouble. And as you can see, zone one on this goes into trouble because zone one on this went into trouble. Right? As you can see, zone one run out of trouble on this, but on this, zone two is still in trouble. So, to take care of troubles, what you can either do is, you can either hold down the alarm reset on this, or you could reset the panel on this. That is because this relay right here is connected to the remote reset contacts on this. As you can see, it's still a bit of a mess. I was hoping to get a lot more done, but I don't know. I was kind of really wanting to make a video and doing many system tests until I got all the stuff. I don't know, I just didn't like uh, that, so. Still, I feel like there's enough big changes that make it worthy of a system test. So, if we come out to here, we can see there's no more alarm here. That's right. One of the biggest stables in my channel. <laughs> this like the alarm hanging off of that rafter. It's no longer there. Well, if we go over here, you can see I put the alarm there. So right there is a system sensor. Mass 24, 110. Right now it's set on 800 Hertz continuous. So if we come here, we have one of these like heat detectors, which goes in here to this fixed temp heat detector and into the 4207. We come over to here. We have a system sensor I3 for WB, I think. Yep. Ah. And as you can see, ah. oh, that's on backwards. There we go. Both panels went into trouble. And I can show you. I hit reset on that, and the trouble clears on this. Like so. For an alarm here, you can see I have my FCI horn strobe. It's 
It's the rebranded version of a Cerberus Pyotronics MTL. I probably should have wrote it down so I remember, but this is the model here. Here we have my SCA MS2. This is a new one. Well, I got it used, but the old one, the lock was the lock was becoming bent over time, making it start to not work anymore. We come into here. We have another heat detector here. Here we have my wheel lock. This is. This has, this has the shell of my weatherproof AH, but has the, the circuit board of the MTLSM, and this strobe is connected to those same, like the strobe connectors on the board that the LSM strobe would connect to. This is set on continuous horn, and if we come over here, we have a simplex four wire smoke detector base with a simplex smoke and heat detector. Going to here, we have my Mercom pole station with the Faraday 2881, which is what the Siemens UMMT eventually became, no, which is what the Siemens UMT was before Siemens owned Faraday. That is the uncontinuous horn. And in here, you can see, I was hoping to get some flex conduit or something for this. Eventually it will look nicer. I have a system sensor MA there, set on 800 hertz continuous. I have my simplex heat detector right there. And you can see a, a relay that I'm using as an end of line relay. So. I guess to um, start off, I will grab this and put the panel into walk test. All right, let's start off by pulling the... Well, first, let's start by getting the, key, the firelight key. Now let's pull the BG-12. As you can see, that beat. Hold on. Now let me just grab this out of the way so I can unplug this lamp. I can't test that since it is fixed temperature. Grab this. Plug the light in. And just hold it up to this. Put that down and take it with me. Since I don't have any canned smoke, I'm just going to use the test button on the i3. Okay. Get my keys for the FCI and hold this. And 
as you can see, I figured out how to get the alarms to start going off quicker on the FCI panel. I put, I put it on enhanced mode. It seems to, they all seem to work a lot quicker now. So plug the light back in. And hold it up to this. All right. Let's see. Do I have a magnet? No, I do not. I guess we'll just, I guess we'll skip that for now. Grab my keys and the lamp. Put this down. Okay. All right, let's pull this ESL T bar. I did have a heat detector in here, but the rate of rise wasn't working and it popped, so. All right, now let's pull the Mercom pull station. All right, so with that out of the way, gonna turn off walk test. And let's pull a fire alarm again. You can see this code wheel clicking away. Let's just silence that for now. That's just so I could get this video out quick. No strobes in those two rooms. Oh yeah. And let's do this.
Okay, let's reset this. As you can see, both zones one and two are active. Look, if I reset this, you can see that zone two, that zone two is still an alarm on this, but not in zone one. That's part of how I have it set to cross trip. So reset that. Put that up. And there we go. Both systems are now normal. I did have a trouble bell, but I had it disconnected for now. Probably gonna reconnect it when I get everything all, you know, beautified and stuff. But as for now, that has been system test 42. This is Hen Basket signing off.